Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Science channel. If you are first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification. Now this is the Poco X2. As you can see, this is the MIUI 12.1.3.0 stable, global stable new update has been received recently. I will give in the description the file. From here, you need to find the file from choose update package where you have downloaded keep it in the download section or anything and from here you need to oh, press ok you need to give that file access like this you need to press the reboot and update it will decrypt and update to the latest version that is 12.1.2.0 to 12.1.3.0 please do this update only when you have that 12.1.2.0 update only not the android 10 version this android 11 version updated to february 2021 security patch i wish it had march security patch but anyhow it's february 1 and you need to update only when you have that 12.1.2.0 to 12.1.3.0 link is in the description for even the recovery rom and ota file and the screen unlock is also working fine in this update even there is a new option called in messaging let me show there is a free internet messaging option has been added after this update and scrolling speeds and in the 120 hertz it's working fine let me show you in the settings let me press it okay as you can see the refresh rate is set to 120 hertz it's working fine better than the previous build of this rom and coming to this features we will get this kind of features in the gallery app i mean the editing a photo is been new here as you can see there are multiple options you can choose and the layout is also with yellow and black background is looking good in this update the layout has been changed here as you can see like this the update has been rolled out for POCO X2. There's the MIUI 12.1.3.0 update. Like this, the update has been rolled out. There is a lots of filters here. As you can see, these things are also added in this new update. As you can see, you can see it or not. As you can see, it's there. These many types of filters has been added to this photo editor in the MIUI gallery app after the update of 12.1.3.0. Now in the camera app, I was finding some new features anyhow. There is no new features here. It's as, as, as it is in the before version also. As you can see, these vlog modes, new vlog modes are already added in the Android 11 update. I mean the previous update. It's still there, not removed or anything like that. And going to settings, let me see. Is there anything new added? Nothing. Notify about orientation. I think it was there. Do let me know in the comment section. You seen this before or after the update you got this option. And that's all guys. In this camera app we don't have any new features. This is the same thing. Color, sound and camera modes. These were already present after the we are told. I mean the out of the box also. You can add the icons. These things were there now let me go to pro mode let me check no video mode no video pro mode still to poco x2 i wish if it is had if it had in the update it was good but anyhow it's not available no pro video mode as of now still to poco x2 let me get out of this app and now coming to speed test i have like 100 mbps plan through wi-fi i am checking out even the internet speeds are good as you can see it's pulling up to 94 mbps as you can see and if you like the video give it a like guys and this is how the not this gesture work as you can see you can swipe from different apps and this the animation you get here it's fine no problem they have fixed some of the bugs but there is still few bugs are available as you can see the fingerprint lock is very fast it's no problem even the 
screen refresh rate is working fine it's smooth than before definitely i am noticing a little bit smoothness after the update and let me go to this geekbench score as you can see here i am noticing the problem same thing what i had in the previous build let me go to geekbench again let me run cp benchmark again it actually does till 100% and later it will force close still that bug is available even in the 12.1.3.0 update i'm simply not able to show the scores here but as you can see it's 95% now as you can see 100% it simply force closes the app as you can see that's it this is the bug they need to fix it but when i don't know and this is the poco x2 halat currently <laughs> and as you can see even if i go and check out the history you don't get any scores since it's force closed after and this is the new feature already told as you can see the cat controls are given previous build they given but there was a laggy the control center was not working fine now it's working fine no problem in this if you want to see that as you can see like this you will get the screenshots of cat controls and everything and if you want to see the previous video i'll give it in the description and even the cards you will get and coming to this display settings there is like even the dark mode shifting is also fine no problem in that earlier i was feeling little bit laggy here shifting from light mode to dark mode but right now it's fine and the more dark vision everything is same nothing new here and as you can see sometimes i face this kind of lag here when i apply to dark mode it takes few seconds to reload a home screen it happened second time not every time but you know it's like a bug for few people let me unlock now it will refresh it's only when i shift from light to dark occasionally if i do it i don't i won't notice but anyhow that problem is also available i hope they can fix it but it is not annoying or like that anyhow it's fine now coming to this control center as you can see now going to settings and let me change it to light mode and disable the dark mode and here we go to additional settings and accessibility menu i am missing here as you can see let me press it's already enabled i tested it and i will enable here actually it should perform when i swipe two fingers from the bottom but it won't work these mere gestures will work but i don't get the accessibility menu it should work it's an android 11 feature by swiping like that it should get i hope it will be fixed in the next update if they're watching it they can fix it let me show you how the accessibility menu works go to display and i'll change this uh, navigation gestures to buttons then i will show you here now going to again additional settings and accessibility menu let me turn it on as you can see it will come okay as you can see there is a tiny mark here and this is how it should come while navigation gestures are enabled by swiping two fingers but it is not coming as of now already i have told in the previous build also the same problem continues in the this build also i'm not getting this simply accessibility menu when the gestures are on let me go back and change to this gestures to i mean the navigation bar buttons to gestures as you can see this two fingers swiping from downside it's simply not working in this build i hope in the next update they can fix this and also do comment on how many of you like this accessibility menu features or you are using it i personally use it in every smartphone and coming to about phone as you can see there's a mere 12.1.3.0 stable update as i discussed it's still on android 11 it's the latest anyhow 
as you can see and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and if you like the video give it a like and if you have some of the bugs mentioned down below in the comment section and see you in the next video